Hey, welcome back again to new video. Guys, this is Sampathy watching Sampath Sam Fx YouTube channel. This is me, Lonex. So, the Poco F3, the Redmi K40 custom ROM. Is back with new video. Pixel Star version 2.5. That is the maintainer. Wiper Android version is 14 here. Latest here. Android 15 very soon. We'll be seeing that. And Android security update is May 5, 2024. Baseband version you can see kernel user is 4.09.312 Zenith kernel has been used the build date is June 16th 2024 that is the latest build available for this Pixel sorry Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 or the Mi 11X and this is Pixel Star UI and this is the quick settings toggles if I can slide here you guys can see in the edit section there are few more options as you can see the UI is really smooth in my opinion again see the animations as you can see even advanced restart button is also available even though this rom is simple here and again guys sorry for the uh, dog barking there uh, it's barking from long time i have to make videos i tried to close all the windows still i like, can able to hear that if you can hear sorry for that and here camera application you will get this uh, leica integrated Mi a camera and 4k 60 is also available photo mode portrait mode night mode everything is going to work fine here no need to worry about that if you want anything advanced you can use always the g cam ports and if you press and hold here wallpaper and style again lock screen customizations are there these things and these are there and coming to wallpapers these are also pre-installed like ai wallpaper emoji workshop and other wallpapers are pre-included here in the home screen again themed icons app grid you get from 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 themed icons is there and if you press and hold again home settings you get a pixel launcher here and typically gemini is pre-installed you can easily install them from play store and yeah these are the apps pre-installed here let me show some results first yeah starting with the android benchmark results as you can see 838244 is the benchmark results what i got that to android to 10.2.7 i am using and these are the scores 3 degree celsius is the temperature raise and 4 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing in the Mi and this is 1120 single score and 3199 is the multi score geekbench 6.3.0 has been used here operating system in the android 14 links 4.09.312 zenith kernel has been used here and cities profile match both getting passed and devices certified and swatch using payment applications is not a problem in this particular rom again i have 200 mbps atl fiber connection it's pulling up to 240 internet connectivity also not a problem here read rates betas with numericals and graph and this is turbo charging support is there during 431 it is 75 percent and this is uh, drm information is there 10 support and level 1 certification and during 432 it is 78 percent turbo charging 53 minutes until gets full this all the results if you go into settings again we'll close that and it's also very much improved guys uh, this is i have not done for me 11x i have already used for poco fi starfield here you get font styles you can select one among them icon style and icon shape and again this one network traffic indicator you will get it and necessary features are all included here as you can see and these are the things as you can see basic things again it's not everything has been given edge light options are also given pulse notifications and in the miscellaneous again you get advanced restart button and this one unlock high fps in games and photo storage google photos and encryption all these things has been done here I haven't faced any issues regarding that and coming into the actual settings like battery as you can see battery usage it is good the ideal battery range is very much low in this particular rom again battery saver you get all these options charging control is given you'll get three different modes here and battery widget fast charging support is there if you want you can restrict them to certain mah and this panel also looks very good and responsive really really smooth in my opinion sound and vibration again you get all these options live caption option is there and system haptics again there will be options uh, ringtone vibration pattern you get haptic feedback strength and patterns here and clear speaker option is given no direct sound settings however we will get the dolby atmos here and wallpaper sound style i already shown you display settings again dark theme is given once you enable that 
you'll get this pure black option that's my primary requirement colors again you get all these options and rgb strength you can adjust refresh it you get adaptive refresh it tap to wake tap to sleep are given dc dimming is given high brightness mode don't use that it will drain the battery whenever you want it then you can definitely use them again location google maps everything is fucking fine security and privacy again you get both face and fingerprint unlock even app lock is also given here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first followed by that face unlock as you can see and this is the face unlock speed as you can see it's very much fast and accurate to use that very quick i really liking that and again into the system again you get this gestures gesture navigation mode into gesture again you get all these options immersive navigation is also again it will hide completely the this one the pill but how to activate 100 mode in that mode i don't know again swipe to three finger screenshot everything is given here but that options are missing here to increase the pill length and radius thermal profiles are also given here this are the settings and you guys can see these are the recent apps vibration haptic feedback strength is fine dual stereo speakers are working fine bluetooth earphones are also working fine no problem regarding all these things dolby atmos again you get aosp kind of dolby atmos here working fine in my opinion let's see the bgma how it handle in this particular room as you can see guys we will get that high fps count then the lobby i'll enable that yeah Yeah, that was very close. Even in the counter attacks, I haven't faced any issues here. This is the volume panel. And I like this notification toggle and this one, quick settings, as you can see. Smooth response again. And you also see the notifications which were present here. This is, I am really liking it. Let me know in the comment section, guys, how you are okay with this particular ROM or not. Let me know in the comment section again. And if you're using any particular ROM as a director, comment down in the comment section, guys. Other people will easily choose that and use it as a daily driver again. See how best the gaming here. It's fine, I can say. The gaming experience is fine. I haven't faced any issues in this particular round. We'll come back here. That's the gaming experience and everything is fine, guys. I haven't faced any issues here. You get a basic Google dialer only. And that's it. This is Sampath signing off. We'll meet with another interesting video, guys. Until that, keep smelling. Bye-bye for now.